Hello and welcome to Fresh Manna Ministries and this is a Fresh Manna Moment. This is an inspirational expose on concepts of biblical principles and topical study. I am Rev. Dr. Alan G. Jenkins, Jr., one of the ministers of the Fresh Manna Ministries International. These messages are designed to bring a sense of confidence as your walk with the Lord is enhanced through the embellishment of the Word of God in Scripture. Let's prepare for another topical experience in the Word. Fresh Manna Moments. Amazing Grace. The grace of our Lord overflowed with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy 1.14 Amazing Grace. Scholars and theologians have struggled for centuries to define grace. Huge tombs have been written around a single word. The endless lectures have been presented to explore the nuances of its meaning and application. Yet one of the most direct and simple definitions of grace was supplied by a young teenager. He asked, isn't grace God treating us a lot better than we deserve to be treated? It's grace that is grace. That is grace in the proverbial nutshell. Grace is God choosing to treat us better than we deserve to be treated. But as Paul points out in his first letters to Timothy, God does not treat us as little better than we deserve to be treated. God does not treat us some ways better than we deserved. No, the grace of God, God's love for us, God's treatment of us is far better than we deserve. It overflows, overflowing grace. Think about it. Overflowing grace, grace that cannot be stopped, cannot be limited, cannot be contained, grace that cannot be measured, cannot be quantified, cannot be comprehended, so vast within God is that grace. That's the grace Paul is describing. That's the grace in which you and I live. Do we deserve it? God says so. Do we deserve it? No, of course not. Live within it. Yes, because of God's great love for us. We live within God's grace. But Paul does not stop there. He points Timothy and us to the greatest manifestation of that grace we shall see on this earth. That manifestation is in Christ Jesus, the man who is God in the flesh. Truly, God, who was a man, who walked among us and gave and served and sacrificed and loved without limit and without condition, that manifestation 
is in Christ Jesus, who chose to go to the cross for those he loved. Grace, that's grace. That's the grace of God in which we live. The grace of our Lord overflowed with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy 1.14 Well, I look forward to sharing with you the next time on Fresh Manna Moments. I encourage you to stay in the Word because there is no other place to reside. Remember the blessings of Numbers 6, 24 through 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Until we meet again, this is Reverend Dr. Alan G. Jenkins, Jr., Fresh Manna Ministries, Fresh Manna Moments. Shalom.